all it is, what you're doing is that's the central line. They're going to put that in your neck, and that can determine what your central venous pressure is. Now, if I do a test what your cuff is, that's great. I can sort of get an idea, but it's a non-invasive test. If I really want to know what your blood pressure is, i got to go in. All right, and you're actually going to measure what this part of the heart. Uh, it's the superior vena cava. It's basically the New Orleans of the veins. All the veins gather before they enter the heart. If you want to find out what the pressures are, not your arterial pressure, find out what the return pressure is. So that's invasive blood pressure. And that's, you know, my dad's case. They had one of these hooked up. And that uh, is great, but it's also a bad location. You get an infection in your neck, you can't amputate the neck. So, and that's what happened. It's blood poisoning. So, but if you're in there, you, you've got every diagnostic. So what I did was I said, you know what? If they're going to put a line in your arm with an IV, why don't we just put the catheter inside the IV tubing? So you just simply hook it up. Okay. And then just look at the heart. Ready? Mm -hmm. Done. Wow. So catheterize the heart, and we can tell everything that's wrong with the patient by plugging this into the monitor. And then all the meds are coming in here. So instant, like uh, ad uh, adrenaline. You know, dopamine, vasopressors, I can give the medication, it goes straight into the heart, and I can monitor how it's doing. So no more blood pressure cuffs, EKGs, pulse oximeters, you know, all with just by putting the catheter inside the IV tubing.